Hey guys, even here in this video we're gonna start with Cedric McMillan who did this sort of documentary He is going to be featured in one of these episodes and it's gonna be about his prep And you can see his physique in this video a little bit, I'm gonna show that to you in a slow motion a little bit later But what I was more concerned about was this part of the caption of this video that he made when he posed the video So it feels like he doesn't even believe in himself he feels like he shouldn't even compete, really, and that's what most of us felt uh, based on all the videos, all the photo updates, and in this one uh, he says, uh, this is definitely the hardest prep I ever had, it will be an accomplishment just to make it to the show. I felt like I wanted and needed to quit so many times, but I'm still here, thank you to everybody that supports me. What I see here is that... He is not happy with his look, he's not happy, he, he, he says the accomplishment is gonna be just making it to the show, so he's not even concerned where he's gonna place. So this is one of those updates that I just mentioned, this is what he looks like right now in this prep, and you know, it, it just like overall size, especially the legs, like the legs lost a lot of size, those legs are looking... You know, pretty tiny, I mean, for a guy that was like a freaking beast at one point. This is not, not a great version of Cedric. And this is, this is exactly why he's dwelling on whether he should get on that stage or not. And you know, it's awesome that he did that documentary. He should have done it before when he was younger, when he was at his prime. But it is what it is. Should he compete though? Is it actually the best decision to actually retire? It might be, it might be. As much as I want to see Cedric on stage once again, I know I'm not gonna see the best version of him. And for the for the legend of Cedric McMillan, he was he was a freaking great bodybuilder at one point. Maybe it would be for the best if he stopped competing. But in this video, he does look significantly better than in that update photo. As you can see, he has the vascularity. He has uh, he, his fullness is improved. Is he as thick, as big, as large as he once was? No, but he's better than he was at the start of this prep. Now, what I'm mainly concerned with are his arms. Like, his upper body, it came up nicely, you know? He got back to, to, to like, almost the same size he was once. Maybe, like, to 80-90%. Not quite there yet, but he, he's, really, he's good. The lower body is what I'm concerned with, and that's something that doesn't come up easily when the age strikes. So we'll see what he's gonna look like on stage, if he actually ends up there. He says that's gonna be a win for itself if he actually makes it at a show. I, I don't know, let's wait and see if he's gonna get there, but if he does, what do you guys think? Can he crack the top six? I mean, considering that he's a, a former Iron Classic champ, he should be like in the top, right? But he probably won't be, if you ask me. Will this youngster beat him, Regan Grimes? I'm pretty sure he will. I mean, Regan looks fresh. And does he look bigger? Does he look improved to you from what he was before he started working with Milos? I think he did get a little bit fuller and bigger. And this is actually taking an empty stomach fasted. So he had that little uh, hiccup in the prep where he got uh, sick, so he wasn't able to train for like a week. And now as he's back to training, it seems like he's getting better and better. I mean, the last time I saw him, I thought he didn't improve at all. But now, looking at his photo, I think he might be actually... He might be the best version of himself at this Arnold Classic. So, uh, today, also, Jay Cutler posted an older photo of him with Regan Grimes. And when I saw this photo, of course, I saw that Regan is bigger than Jay, which is impressive by itself. But, of course, Jay is long retired. But what I noticed also is that Regan here was much smaller than he is right now. Yeah, I know this is post-show, so of course he was shredded, smaller, depleted, but still, he didn't look as big as he looks right now. Could this simply be just more glycogen, more water, whatever, you know, a lot of insulin and stuff like that? I don't know, I don't know, maybe it's actual gains, maybe it's actual muscle tissue. I don't know, we're gonna see in, in three weeks, guys, only three weeks until Arnold Classic, so in three weeks we're gonna see what Regan Grimes is gonna look like and how well will he place. Once again, I think he will beat Cedric and he might crack like the top five, top six, we'll see. I wonder what this guy would do if he competed over there. Unfortunately, he's not in IBB Pro League, 
where he should be, where he belongs, in my opinion. This is him right now, in his off-season. So it's been a while since we saw this guy. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say he's out of shape here, but usually he's pretty shredded. Here, you can see him in his off-season. He's a little bit more water. He has a little bit of fat. But you know what? That's necessary to grow. You cannot grow if you're in deficit constantly. So apparently he took some time off to actually make progress. I mean, how much does he need to grow, really, at this point? Not, not a lot. What he mainly needs to work on is like maturity, you know, details, uh, dryness, conditioning, stuff like that. Not, not really size, I mean, he's, he's really freaking massive. And obviously right here he's not as hard as usual, but that's the off-season. And I'm happy to see him doing the off-season actually, you know, trying to grow, because obviously he's eating more than he's burning, and for his body, for this amount of muscle, it takes a lot of food to actually get in surplus, to actually add some body fat, so this means that he's trying, actively trying to grow, so what he's gonna look like if he grows a little bit more, I don't know, but uh, I'm pretty sure eventually we're gonna see this freak of nature in Abby Pro League, and I'm sure he's gonna do some serious damage over there. Oh yeah, Steve Kuklo, well I talked about him in my previous video, and I thought he is not very vascular at this point, 3-4 weeks out of Arnold Classic, and I guess I was wrong. But I was right about the tan, though, so I don't think that photo that he posted is actually recent, but is he vascular at this point? He absolutely is. So this one seems like it is uh, three weeks out. Why would this be from his old prep? There is no reason to think that. Uh, this is recent, and he looks amazing, he looks big. He does have some pretty good arms, and uh, like overall, he's, he looks great, looks big, he looks shredded. He looks on point at three weeks out. And I think I have this guy in my top three, actually. And for the end, we have some drama as well, of course. <laughs> it is about Nick Walker and Matt Jensen. Nick already did a Q&A, you can check that out in my previous video where he commented on this topic. And Matt Jensen also did that today. So the question was, is it true that you and Nick split up? And his answer is, Nick and I are not working together. We had a good run, I wish him the best. Rookie season for the history books. So, of course, Matt is, you know, being politically correct. He doesn't want to, you know, say anything bad about Nick. I don't even know how messy did things get in the end, but apparently he wishes him the best. But no, they are not working together, not anymore. And a lot of you guys were like, why this happened? Can he get back there? Some of you guys even said... Can he get Chris Bumstead, because they're friends, to get him in Revive, because he owns that company partially now? And I'm just thinking, why? <laughs> why Revive? Why Revive and Raw, whatever? There is a million companies out there, and some of them are really freaking good. And Nick Walker is one of the most wanted bodybuilders. He is the hottest star right now. So I'm sure everybody is just fighting over him right now and offering him crazy offers. He just has to pick one, you know, pick the best one. So, uh, I, I, I don't get it, I mean, I understand the coach thing, because him and Matt, they worked out a good formula. It worked for Nick. I don't know if Nick can implement the same thing alone, probably can't, but, you know, as far as the sponsorship, that can be easily fixed. I'm sure Nick will find a great sponsor very, very soon. And as far as finding a new coach, that can be tricky, but I'm sure Nick will figure it out. Maybe Chad Nichols, he has a way with big guys. Anyways, soon enough we'll find out who is his new coach, who is his new sponsor. As soon as it is out, I will post it here on my YouTube channel, so guys, stay tuned, subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Thank you so much guys for watching, all the best and bye-bye.